Hi, so today we're going to be working on another quodality algorithm question. And in this question, um, we will be receiving a non-empty array consisting of n integers which are given. And within that array, each integer will have a value um, or a, a paired match, except for one. So what this question is asking, and it will be posted in the description below as well of the video, is um, to find the number in that array that doesn't have a pair, and there will only be one such case. And these are all, and there will always be an, an odd number of elements in the array. And we should write an efficient algorithm, assuming that n is an odd integer within the range of 1 to a million, and each element of array a is an integer within the range of 1 to 1 billion. And all but one value in the array occurs an even number of times. Okay, so basically what this question is asking, given an array of 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3, we will always have an array with this pattern, and there will only be one um, number within that array that doesn't have a pair. So as you can see, looking at um, this particular array, let's call it array A, A of 0 and A of 2 are a pair, right? So let's just put them like this. A of 1 and A of 3 are a pair in this array. And the only one that is unpaired is A of 4. So it, our function should return that particular number. It's if it was fed this array, because it is unpaired. So how will we approach doing this? So steps. And you have to remember that this is uh, supposed to be efficient, so we have to do it quickly, right? Um, as in, it shouldn't take that much time in order to perform all the calculations. Okay, so one iterate through array when match is found we will store it store well we'll iterate through the array and store the values and if a particular value has a match, eliminate it. And then at the end, return value without a match. Okay, that seems simple enough. So how will we do this? And how would we approach solving this particular problem? So what comes to mind almost immediately is utilization of a hash table. The reason why I think to use a hash table is because the lookups from a hash table are instantaneous, as in there is no iteration or anything 
uh, going on in behind the scenes because the particular hash or key will map automatically to a value. And in this case where we can have almost a million values that will be stored and we'll have to match up with, um, this will be useful. So let's start. So now we're going to iterate through this array. And each loop that we iterate through, um, each time we have a loop, it'll be O of n uh, time complexity. Um, if you have a nested loop, that then it would be O of n times um, n, like the number of uh, uh, times it will iterate through the inner loop, right? Or you could say n squared. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so let's continue. So we're going to go from uh, i is equal to zero and i is less than a dot length i plus plus. Okay, so we have the following condition. Do we have any edge cases? I think uh, empty arrays what comes to mind. I can't think of any other off the top of my head. Okay, so um, for a of i, we will set it if a of i if hash a of i exists, right? So we're basically using the value of a of i as the key. Um, so let's see if it doesn't exist. So using a double um, exclamation mark will basically take a null value and convert it to a boolean. So I'm going to use a double exclamation mark here. And if this hash doesn't exist, we'll set it to 1. Hash of a of i is equal to 1, right? Else, hash of a of i is equal to 0. So that is the opposite condition. Actually, let's also do this, or um, hash of a of i is equal to 0. We'll also make it 1, because we've forgotten that there could be duplicate values. So, so if we look at the case over here on the left, um, we will notice that a of 0 in the question and a of 2 as well as a of 4 and a of 6 all have the values 9. So uh, in this case, by doing this, we will um, be able to isolate um, this particular condition in which the values, there's more of one value. Um, the same value is paired up more than once, right? Okay. So now we have our hash table. So now what we have to do is iterate through all the objects in our hash table and isolate which particular object stored in the hash table is still equal to one. And that will be our, um, our unpaired value, right? And do we have to return the index, or do we have to return um, the value? Returns the value, so that's what we're returning. So now, for, let's see, 
how to iterate through uh, JavaScript hash object. Okay. So we, this is our hash. We have something of similar format. And so we could use this. For marquee in hash. So we're iterating through the different cache. So if hash has own property of key, what we're going to do, so we've isolated this particular key for each key and it has the property and if hash of key is equal to one return key that should do it the only thing I could think of that might cause problems is if it is a, a character value and it's trying to equal to a uh, numeric, but I, I don't think in this case it will be an issue. I think that um, it should compensate. Let's see. Okay. Hash is not a function. So, it's saying here that, and we use the wrong brackets. Change that up. Okay, let's try that. Invalid result type. Integer expected, string found. Okay, and that is probably because hash dot has own property. I think when you iterate through here, it'll automatically pass in uh, it'll automatically create a character out of this. So we have to cast that to int. Okay. So we'll parse that. And we'll also return that. Got three expected seven. Okay, so it isn't working as expected. Now the question is why? So first after this what we'll do is we'll print out the actual object. Let's see how that works. So here's our hash. So we have a 3 of 1, 7 of 0, and 9 of 1. So it looks like what happened is that there was a logic mistake here because all the actual elements that do have duplicates are set to one. So if hash is missing or hash is equal to zero, it's equal to one. And then in the case where, so I don't think this is working. Try this. So not 
Ash that has property of AFI. Our null check wasn't working when we used the double exclamation marks. Okay, let's give it a shot. And uh, so basically what happened here is we're um, isolating unique um, hashes. Uh, so we're isolating which hashes are unique. And here, we um, and here what we did is identify the unpaired value. That was our second loop. So this will have a time complexity of O of n. And edge case. I don't think it'll even be edge case because it said that we'll always have a value passed in for our array. So let's see, run, compilation, successful, copy it for later, submit task. Okay, and we got 100%, and as you can see, our uh, detected time complexity was O of n, and it passed all the speed and time um, time requirements. So um, I think that solution would work with uh, interviewers as well. I don't know if you'd remember to uh, how to search an object for its particular value. I don't remember that, even though I've used it a lot. But um, yeah. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, Till next time.